Hey Total MTG fans, it's Matt here and today we're doing an unboxing of the Magic Origins 2 player Clash Pack which has been donated by Connor who plays in our Versus videos Please let us crack this open for him so we can show you guys and show you what's in the packs So, let's start cracking it open It's retailing at about £19.95 Recommended retail is closer to 25 but you can pick it up for about 20 quid at the moment. So open the box. A couple of little things in there. That's it. So you get a nice little deck box. Over there. Get I think this is a sheet showing you what's basically in the deck. Gives you a list of what's in there and um, building your own deck, how you can combine the two decks in a clash pack. If you choose to do that, it says to build an ultimate deck. And then on the back it has some more of the deck list of what's in this pack. So let's crack into this one first. On the front we have Dromica the Eternal. So if I can get into this without too much problems. Here we go. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. Here we go. There we go. So it's a nice foil on the front. A nice Dromica the Eternal foil. Um, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer for 5. When the dragon you control attacks, you get to bolster 2. So that's pretty nice. Uh, a nice foil Sunset Citadel. The one and only Siege Rhino. Being used in modern, standard, all, all forms of magic at the moment. You also get an Abzan Ascendancy. And a Citadel Siege. Which is good, lets you put two 1 1 counters on target creature you control at the beginning of your combat stage, or you can choose dragons and beginning of combat each opponent you can tap each opponent's turn, tap target creature that player controls. Um, one of my cards that I'm using in modern moment, my um, Abzan Company, and offends a kin tree spirit, it's good for the bolster effect. Avatar Resolute, another very good card, I've been using that in modern. So we have a Disown Ancestor, we have a couple of them. An Anik Bonkin, a couple of them. I think you can see the theme of this deck is getting counters and using Outlast and Bolster. Uh, Lightwalker runs three of them. Uh, some more Outlast creatures, Abzan Falconer, a couple of them. Tuskar Captain, it's an uncommon. Uh, each creature you control with a 1 1 counter gets Trample. Um, Abzan Battle Priest. Each creature with a 1-1 one -one counter gives you life link. So we can see what this what this deck is all about. Basically, it seems to be just getting creatures with counters on and just giving them loads of abilities. Um, Elite Skyguard. Then we go on to some lands. We've got Blossoming Sands, a couple of Jungle Hollows. And some Scouring Sands. And then on to these, Swamps Forest Plains. And then the sideboard. Um, suspension Field. Uh, when suspended enters the battlefield, you may exile target creature with toughness 3 or greater until that leaves the battlefield. Debilitating injury, hopefully kill some creatures. Ultimate price, very good card, ultimate price. Um, Ancestral Vengeance. Bolster card, cachet defences. And here we go, map the waste, which also lets you get um, search for the land, but does let you bolster as well. Um, scale Blessing. Dromica's Gift, another bolster card, gives them plus four. Um, incremental growth, um, you get to put a 1 1 counter, two, two 1 1 counters, and three 1 counters on the third creature. So, that is the first deck. Um, like I said before, it does seem like it's a bolster, counters, creatures are going to get out of control, uh, really big, and um, hopefully be very hard to deal with. Um, gives them all 
different types of features. Gives them life link and stuff like that if you can get to Outlast. So we're on to the second deck. There we go. Struggling to get in. So we open up with an honoured hierarch, honoured hierarch, the um, poor man's noble hierarch, which is a very poor one. Uh, it's from the new set. Uh, it's got renowned one. As long as um, it's renowned, it has vigilance, and you can have one mana. But you basically got to attack with it first to um, get the combat damage, to get the counter, to make it like that. So you know, not not the best card, I don't think, but um, it's good in the clash packs. Uh, nice little four valorous stance. Uh, very good card. Destroy target creature with four. As the other cre um, decks can have a lot of big creatures in. Uh, Secret Away, very good card. Very used much in the, in the standard currently at the moment. Um, it's got the Prowess and it gets um, Life Link when you cast a non creature spell. Kithian's a regular. It's from the new set Magic Origins. Gets you to tap target creature, has Renown. Um, Outline Colossus, this is the big um, limited bomb. Can't be blocked by more than one creature, it's got Renown 6, so it's obviously a bit of a beast. And you get a lovely fetch land in this deck, which is a nice windswept heath. And the card at the moment, um, being used in modern, standard, everything around, everyone's using it, collected company. Um, this deck is, is, you know, is a very strong deck to me. Um, already thinking it looks stronger than the other deck myself, especially with a Dromacus Command as well. Um, so it has a Noiter of Champions, Dragon Hunter, good little 2 1 for 1, protection from dragons. A Dromica Warrior, a couple of Taupe and Free Blades, got Vigilance, got the Renown. So, this is a you know, looks very much a renowned deck. Um, Under City Troll can regenerate itself a three, has renowned as well. Consul's Lieutenant, another renowned creature. Uh, when it attacks, if it's renowned, other attacking creatures will get plus one one to end a turn, so that's pretty cool. Dragon Bell Monk. Valor and Wardens, another renowned creature. When the creatures you control become renowned, they get to draw cards. That's, I used that in my um, pre release. That was a good card, drew me some cards. Um, Citadel Castilian, uh, it's got Vigilance, just got renowned again. It's got a couple of them. War Oracle, 3 3 Lifelink, has renown. Runs a couple of them. So on to the other lands, get some Blossoming Sands. Evolving Wilds, not quite as good as the Fetch Land, but you've got one Fetch Land in this deck. It's got plains, forest, 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 forest. So we go on to the sideboard. We have Enshrouding Mist. Target is plus one, one to end a turn. Prevent all damage that will be dealt. If it's renowned, untap it. Got a couple of them. Um, the old um, Feast of Resistance, which is a good protector. Uh, puts one, one counter on target creature you can draw and it gains protection to end of turn. Uh, Mighty Leap gives it um, flying and plus two, two. And the very annoying pacifism, which is obviously used in limited quite a lot. Um, Enchant creature can't attack or block, which is very good against. I think the other deck's got some big creatures, so I think you could be sideboarding them in. Um, pressure point, little draw card. Um, epic confrontation. Um, you get to fight target creatures you don't control, and you get a bit a one-two. And then a little trick of the plus four-four with the Titanic growths. So those were the two decks, guys. Um, you get some very nice cards in these decks. Um, I must admit, in, in this last deck, you know, the... Where are we? Dromacus Command, a Collected Company, a Windswept Heath, um, Foil Secret Away of Valorous Stance. It's, that is a very, very strong deck. I might be wrong, but this does seem the more powerful one, but I could be wrong. Um, this might have more synergy. It does seem it's going to work a little, very well as well. It's got the old kills in the sideboards. And Outlast Reach, you can get some very big creatures with that deck. Um, worth £20? Most certainly worth £20. Um, you know, you're getting a fetch land and you're getting Dromacus Command. I mean, uh, them alone is probably worth near the money itself. And plus you get two very cool decks to play with. Um, I hope you like this little unboxing. Get to see what's in the Clash Pack, in case you haven't seen it online. Uh, me and Connor uh, will be doing a versus match with these two decks in the future. Um, just so you can see how they play out. Uh, I'd like to thank Connor for letting me let me unbox this for our channel. Um, please leave a like and subscribe and go and have a look at we put some new versus videos up. Um, have a look at all the playlists and we will see you guys soon. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.